Mom, I'm arriving home in half an hour. What have you cooked today? Rice and chicken, just the way you like. It's delicious. You will love it a lot. Let's say this in Lebanese Arabic. Mama, أنا واصل على البيت بعد نص ساعة. شو طابخة اليوم؟ رزعة دجاج على ذوقك. أكلة. رح تحبهم كتير. Let's say it slower. Mama, أنا واصل على البيت بعد نص ساعة. شو طابخة اليوم؟ رزعة دجاج على ذوقك. أكلة. رح تحبهم كتير. Let's break this down. Mama, mom. أنا واصل. I am arriving. Here, the person is not saying I am arriving in the present continuous. They are using the participle واصل. واصل literally means the person who arrives or the arriver. So when you say أنا واصل, it's the masculine form of I am arriving. In the feminine form, you would say أنا واصل with a te marbuta. And in the plural form, you would say نحنا واصلين with the een in the end. So أنا واصل masculine. أنا واصل feminine. نحنا واصلين plural. Mama أنا واصل عالبيت. Mom, I'm arriving home. If we break عالبيت down, it doesn't literally mean home. It means ع which means on, il, which means the, and bet, which means house. On the house, literally. Of course, we don't mean on the house. We mean to home or to the house, which means home. Mama, أنا واصل على البيت. Mom, I'm arriving home. بعد نص ساعة. بعد نص ساعة. بعد means after. نص means Half and ساعه means hour. In Arabic, it's like you are saying after half hour, which means in half an hour. Mama, أنا واصل على البيت بعد نص ساعة. Mom, I'm arriving home in half an hour. شو طابخة اليوم؟ شو طابخة اليوم؟ شو means what? طابخة means have you cooked? And اليوم means today. If we take tabkha, it doesn't literally mean have you cooked. It's a participle and it means the person who cooks in the feminine form because it has a te marbuta. If we remove the te marbuta, it becomes tabkh. Shu tabkh? What have you cooked if you're asking it in the masculine form? Shu tabkha? If you're asking in the feminine form. And if you want to ask more than one person, you say shu tabkhin with the in sound in the end. شو طبخين اليوم؟ What have you plural cooked today؟ رز عجيج عزوقك رز عجيج عزوقك رز means rice ع literally means on and جيج means chicken When I say رز عجيج I don't mean rice on chicken We mean rice with chicken رز عجيج عزوقك عزوقك ع literally means on. زو means taste. The ak sound in the end means your. Literally you are saying on your taste. Which means just the way you like. So when you say to someone عزو ak, it's like you are saying they are really good. And sometimes you can ask it as a question. Let's say for example you serve food to someone and they eat it. When they finish you can ask them عزو ak, which means did you like it? In the feminine form, it becomes عزوئك with the ik sound in the end. عزوكن in the plural form. عزوأك masculine. عزوئك feminine. عزوكن in the plural form. رز عجيج عزوأك rice and chicken just the way you like. أكل 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 literally means food. But of course, here you don't mean food. You're just saying it's delicious. So in Arabic, in Lebanese Arabic particularly, if you want to say something is delicious, you just say food, which means delicious, أكلي. And it doesn't change. It's a fixed expression and it's very commonly used. So if, for example, you ate something and you really like it 
and the other person asked you, did you like it? You can say, أكلي, which means it's very nice, it's delicious. رح تحبون كتير. رح تحبون كتير. رح تحبون, you will like them. Because رح تحب means you will like. And رح تحبون, with the un in the end, means you will like them. كتير, a lot. That's why رح تحبون كتير means you will like them a lot. In the feminine form, you would say رح تحبيون كتير. رح تحبيون كتير because رح تحبي means you will like or you will love in the feminine form. And then you add the on. رح تحبيون كتير. You will like them a lot in the feminine form. And in the plural, you would say رح تحبون كتير. رح تحبو means you will like or you will love in the plural. رح تحبو. And when we add the on, it doesn't become رح تحبون, no. It becomes رح تحبون. رح تحبون كتير. Let's repeat the whole thing. ماما, أنا واصل على البيت بعد نص ساعة. شو طابخة اليوم؟ رز عجاج عزوقك. أكلة. رح تحبون كتير. I will say it one more time slower. ماما, أنا واصل على البيت بعد نص ساعة. شو طابخة اليوم؟ رز عجاج عزوقك. أكلة. رح تحبون كتير. Now, I will repeat it as if it's in the feminine form. ماما, أنا واصلة على البيت بعد نص ساعة. شو طابخة اليوم؟ رز عجاج عزوئك أكلة رح تحبيون كتير Now let's say it in the plural ماما نحنا واصلين على البيت بعد نص ساعة شو طابخة اليوم؟ رز عجاج عزوئكن أكلة رح تحبون كتير In this case, you can guess that the mom is talking to more than one person. Maybe she has three kids or three children. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.